Hello everyone, this is Will with Lind at Hodl Hodl here, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to complete a Lind and Borrow contract. And we're going to be using the testnet version of the platform. My user is already logged in. I'll go ahead and click Borrow in the top left. Here I'll filter the offer list. Let's go with currency USDT, loan to value ratio up to 60%, loan term 3 to 12 months. I find the offer that I like, click. Here I can review the offer terms. Let's go with amount 1000. Here's the origination fee, amount to be deposited and repaid. Payment address, this is the address that I will be paid the loan to, which is my stablecoin address. Bitcoin refund address. This is how I will receive my collateral, which is in Bitcoin. To this address, accept and create. Okay, we now have a pending status contract to borrow. I'm informed waiting for counterparty. Here my counterparty received a notification Contract to Lind, pending status, waiting for me to accept it. I click accept. Repayment address. This is how I'm going to be repaid the loan, which is my USDT crypto stablecoin address. Bitcoin release address. If the collateral comes to me, click accept. Okay, both parties need to confirm their payment password. Waiting for counterparty. Confirm. Status of contract has changed to depositing. So now, here's the escrow address I need to send the collateral to. Pay to this address this amount of Bitcoin for the escrow. There we go, pay, send, okay. Let's go ahead and review the contract summary. Okay, here we go. We are informed that the next check for transaction confirmations is in this amount of time counting down. So here, the lenders informed do not send the stablecoin loan just yet because we're waiting on the confirmation required. The escrow transaction does not have enough confirmations. Here we can check on that by viewing the Blockstream link unconfirmed status. Okay, at this point I will go ahead and pause the video and return in about 10 minutes. Okay, we're back and we can see that the contract is in payment status. The funds have been sent to escrow. Please add a link to my transaction ID so we can confirm I made the payment. So now I pay the borrower the stable coins and then send the link to the transaction ID, which I have here. Here's the Block Explorer link. Submit. Okay, funds have been sent to escrow, waiting for borrower to confirm the loan amount has been received. So as the borrower, we can see that lender provided link to payment transaction, which we can also see here. So now the borrower needs to confirm that they have received the payment which is the loan in this case of 1000 USDT. And once I have verified and confirmed I have received this loan, borrower can click confirm payment received. Enter my payment password. And that advanced the contract status to in progress. 
Now, I need to remember to repay my loan on time. I can repay it early with multiple payments and control the LTV ratio. Okay, so six month period I can repay any time, but let's say 5.5 months have passed and I'm ready to make the repayment. So I enter the link to the block explorer. So I've made the payment of the 1050 USDT to the lender and here is a link to that transaction. Okay, lenders informed early repayment link provided. Please confirm it's valid and that I've received the payment, which we're informed here, 1050 USDT liquid. Okay, once lender has confirmed he's received the 1050 USDT, and that advanced the contract status to completed. Now borrower can refund the collateral to himself. Done. Thank you for doing business with us.